Okay, it is six in the morning. It is freezing out. Phone says it is 35 degrees. I guess it's not that cold. Feels cold. I need toilet paper really bad. It's six in the morning, Walmart has opened, so let's go in and get a few groceries. Camper guy took off. Everything looking good. Oh yeah, it is frosty. This is not 35 degrees out. It's more like 30. It feels like 30. Burr. Wait, got my keys, phone, wallet. So get some toilet paper. I do love parking in town. I, the ranch is beautiful, but it's just so far away from everything and I don't have a ride. Well, I don't have a easily, I don't have an easy ride. I gotta wait. I can only get a ride in a town like a couple of days a week. Once a week. So I start projects and I can't get them done. forget something. I don't ever go out in public without my hat on. It feels weird. Uh, Alright. Why am I grabbing this? I do not have enough money for food. I will a little later though. Guess I'm still waking up. I've been there. That is a fun little hike. Um, I only did about 10 miles. I think that goes all the way to Mexico. It's a huge, it's a long trail. Um, 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 um. Star Wars stuff. Ooh, I could use some pajamas. Come on, payday, we're almost there. Ooh, those feel comfy. Plaid, too. Okay, we're getting distracted. A toilet paper. Maybe grab a hat. Just wear it up to the cash register. I feel naked. Ooh. Shoes, I spotted that out of the corner of my eye. These are not doing so good. Need me just some walking around kicks. Um, yeah. I'm definitely inclined to shop at a Walmart that lets me sleep out in the parking lot. Loafers, holy moly. Loafer City. Those look comfy. Oh my gosh. Okay, shoe shopping later. Toilet paper. This is not the Walmart I'm used to. I was expecting toilet paper to be in uh, that corner.
There it is. Oh, uh, when I was in Oregon, I saw a meat shortage. I'm trying to keep you guys updated on the shortages I spot. Um, hamburger patties. I always get the specific type of hamburger patties. The whole meat section was cleared out. There's just one, there are two brands of, or two different companies making the meat patties. So, um, that was kind of crazy to see. I had to get the expensive grass-fed cow beef. Um, so that was kind of nuts to see the meat shortage just in the patty section I don't know about hamburger or anywhere else but uh, in Washington we're looking good let's go see meat section oh here's some empty spaces check there's some empty spaces I mean it's not I mean there's some spaces like I said before but it's not too bad I hope, hope it's not the sign of something starting I think it was a lot worse in 2019 when everyone was freaking out but uh Yeah, little, little, 60 eggs, oh my gosh. I didn't know they had such big packs here. So yeah, a few things disappear off the shelves. Kind of looks like it's, uh, yeah, it looks like the original Philadelphia's off the shelf there, maybe. Or no, there's the, Less fat, less fat, yeah, it looks like the original. Oh no, there's the original. I don't know what's missing. Just a few random things. Like, what is that? What are these? Mozzarella? Parmesan? Let's go find those meat patties. Meat pate. Looking good. You can see the employees are actually starting to stock, so. Yeah, meat is just a little thin. Everything's a little thin. Uh, I don't know if it is alarming, but it's something to take note of, I guess. Suppose. Turkey's a little low. I don't. Think there's anything really to worry about just yet. Of course, everybody's talking about prepping and making sure you have your own backup supplies, extra food, extra water. It's just a really smart thing to do anyways, no matter what. Look at this. There's a whole shelf empty. One mayonnaise left. Hmm. That's my bread of mayonnaise too. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right, mission accomplished. Let's get going. Thank you for shopping at Walmart.
Okay, morning mission accomplished. Let's uh, go edit a video. Wait for the DOL to open up. Get my tags. It's actually a month early, but I usually like to get that done and out of the way. I'm hoping that we're not that this shortage is about as bad as it's going to get. some cleaning around here oh it's here gotta wait hopefully payday will come before I take off and then I can grab me two shelves I want to get two five tier shelves like the ones I already have in my storage unit double stack them going down the middle of my storage unit and I need them desperately every time I put a shelf in there I have so much fun clearing off the floor and stacking it and just cleaning and organizing but there's still there's too much stuff in there and I need room to organize and filter things around and sift them and put them on a proper shelf next to similar items everything is I've got like what I'm calling drop boxes I'm using my uh, old uh, shipping boxes uh, as uh, like junk drawers and grabbing up everything in the RV I don't need to have in here and kind of throwing them in the boxes so I have all these boxes drop boxes so I have all these drop boxes I need to go through and uh, organize them. As well as, you know, I would love to have a shelf just for my games. I went in there, I've got a list of games I wanna grab. Vigilante 8, craving that. Dark Forces, gosh, that's a good one. Memory cards, for crying out loud, I completely forgot my memory card, can't play my game. Oh, and I still forgot it last time I was there. I was in a hurry, no I wasn't, I was, uh kind of in a hurry but is my our storage unit is a mess so I gave up looking for them looking for that stuff destruction derby really want to play the destruction derby grab that n64 get back on Aiden Chronicles I have a mission to finish there yeah I got a few things to grab Went back inside and did some more shopping. Paid is here, so I got me some clothes. Underwear, some camo pants. I used to love camo, but I got out of it just to like, you know, just you know, thrift stores and stuff. This was only three, four bucks, and it was a matching camo, so I got that. Um, really don't need any shirts, it's a good idea to have an extra pair of pants. I don't have too many of these, and the jeans always get trashed, so. I'm prepared to keep nice for coming into the city. A couple pairs of pajamas. If one pair is good, I might as well get two. I have a bad habit of... Uh, I have a bad habit of ruining clothes, so I always buy two of every pair. Two of everything I like. Except for those camo pants, because those are 25 bucks.
I guess if you need some hands free action real quick or something put a tool in there all right I like these pants all right guys second round in had to get me some lunch uh, picked up some potato buns I don't get this too often just because I realized buns are just a lot of extra bread for to be making for burgers burgers for me can go just on square bread but those are awesome for making tuna sandwiches some hand sanitizer as well as some hand soap for when I'm grammy some disposable shavers one for the bug out bag and one for storage some index cards those are way too big I thought those were something else I'll have to take those back. I thought I had 3x5. These are 4x6, but uh, I got a 3x5 index card holder so I could store up some index cards. Um, I use them for sticker sales. Ugh, maybe these both can go back. I'm not really too impressed with that. Yeah, I don't really. Okay, we'll, we'll get some index cards later. Take those back. Stocked up on some spam. Can never have too much spam. Got four cans of this tuna that I really like. It's kind of expensive, but it is really good. Burrito shells. Some zinc. For the immune system. I hear this is a good thing to have nowadays. Uh, it's kind of hard to find, actually. Couple weeks ago, so I got one for storage and one for um, for use. Some frozen chicken to go with my veggie burritos. I found I can't really have those anymore without meat. It's just too. Uh, if I'm going to have a salad, I'm going to put it in a bowl. It's just. Like, so much better with a little meat in it. So I'll get the chicken. Another thing I spam. One for actually those are both for storage. I already got a can or two in here. Ranch. Shaving gel. I don't really use that stuff too often. I just use my electric shaver, but it's good for the close shave. Got a cucumber. Actually I will, I take it back. I will have veggie burritos if I change it up. Like uh, cucumbers are really good to throw into a veggie burrito. Onions! I don't ever really get onions, so I thought I'd grab some. And another thing of ranch. Oh yeah, got some food. Feeling good. Always feels good to go get stocked up on food. The generator is shut down. Switched over to solar. If, uh, if I'm not on the PC and I'm not running any heat, it does okay. Refrigerator takes up a lot of power. So I usually just leave the generator in, but I would like every once in a while just to be able to save gas and money. It is my biggest concern, it's just saving on the bucks. Um, and solar is pretty good for that, so as long as there's sun. I think I am going to add it to the list here pretty soon just to throw up a couple more panels, at least two more be a project for next summer coming up here. We've got a maintenance log, did a double check down at the generator, still got a hundred hours to go till the oil change. Let's put that back. That thing is running great. Hard starts after sitting a while, but other than that, it's, I think it's a little champ. A little champion. No, it's a predator, but it's a good one. It's a good generator. Shells. Shavers really aren't something for a bug out bag. You know, if doomsday comes and facial hair. I just don't like facial hair. So I know I'm gonna want shavers. Everybody else can grow out there. There's SHTF beards. 